I'm going to show you how to create a realistic looking pear shaped cookie in just a few simple steps. You see here I'm using just white royal icing. You're going to love how easy this is. The Sugar Prism Edible Acrylic Paint colors I'm using are Golden Bug Yellow and Grasshopper Green. To dilute the paint mix, all you have to do is just add a little water to it. We'll start with the Golden Bug Yellow and then add a little pinch of the Grasshopper Green on top. Now I'm going to add enough water to make it about the consistency of chocolate milk or a little bit thinner. Everyone has their preferences and the airbrushes are all different, so just play with the consistency. Pears do come in different colors, but I thought this would make a really nice color. It's kind of like a Bartlett pear color. See the consistency? And then into my Pache airbrush it goes. Cap it off. My cookie has had time to set. I like to stay about six or seven inches away from the cookie and just give it a couple of light coats. I really love how this color turned out. Next, I'm going to use the Sugar Prism Edible Acrylic Paint Mix Golden Bug Yellow and Teddy Bear Brown to do a little hand painting. And you're just going to need a tiny pinch of each color. Now I'm going to choose a number eight round brush for part of this, and then I think a size zero for some smaller detailing. Mixing in a tiny amount of water. We're going to start with that golden bug yellow, and then I'm going to bring over just a tiny bit of that teddy bear brown and mix in there just to darken that golden color a little bit. And we're going to start by painting the stem. The consistency I mix the paint to is about a medium acrylic consistency. And then just give your little stem a layer of that color that you just mixed up. It's really smooth and easy to work with. When you dilute the paint mix, you just need to dip your brush into the water. Just get a little bit of water on the end of your brush and just mix it around into that dry mix. It really takes very little water to dilute the paint. You can also use vodka in there if you want a faster dry time. And when the paint dries, it does dry completely. Now I'm just going to paint a little brown on the end of that stem. You know where it was cut off and it starts turning brown? So just a little bit of brown right there. And then I'm going to dab a little bit of that teddy bear brown just on one side of my stem, just very lightly to kind of give it a little bit more dimension, like there's a shadow being cast to one side. Next, I'm going to add a little bit more of that teddy bear brown into the golden bug yellow to make a little deeper shade, and I'm adding more water to make it a thinner consistency. And then I'm going to take my number eight round brush and I'm just going to do this dabbing technique on one side of the pear. And what you see me doing is I'm going to add a little bit darker towards the bottom of the pear. And then as I come up towards the center, you want to make it lighter and lighter. Just, just dab, dab, dab. Just a really simple dabbing technique. And you're going to ombre that golden color lighter and lighter as you get towards the center of the pear. And what that's doing is it's creating dimension and depth on one side, so you're creating a shadow on the right side of your pear. It also creates an illusion of a light source coming from the left side of your pear, and I'm going to bring that shadow pretty far over. You don't have to bring it that far over, but I think it gives it a really nice look. It just casts this big long shadow on the right side of your pear. And because the darkest part of your pear would be on the bottom, like it's sitting on the table, watch the way I bring in a little bit more of that golden brown towards the bottom of the pear. And I'm going to bring just a tiny bit on the bottom left side of that pear, but you can layer the Sugar Prism paint color. So you can see me just layer it and layer it. And it's better to go in small amounts than put a whole bunch on all at once. It's such a simple technique, and I personally think that the pear is a very beautiful fruit. And I'm going to end the layering right there. I don't want to overdo it. 
Next, I'm going to mix up a little bit of that teddy bear brown. And I'm just going to give my pear just little tiny speckles here and there, not too many. Those are those cute little freckles that fruit get when they come into more of a ripeness. So I'm just gonna add a few more in the darker shadowed areas of my pear just to give it a little bit more character, a little bit more realism, you know, a little bit more depth and dimension. And I think that looks pretty good. So I think I'm gonna end it right about there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love you all. Take care from Michelle at Sugar Prism.